Welcome to Aaron Plays. In this episode, we will be doing La Battle de Hanno by Legion Games, turn seven for the French. Okay, so following the sequence of play, first thing that happens is the army morale levels. Okay, so the French have lost 20 steps, um, but have no units disorganized. So their army morale level is 20. The coalition have lost 46 steps and have 16 units disorganized or routed. So their army level is 62, which keeps them over the demoralization level. So every morale check they take for this turn uh, will be an additional minus one. Okay, we now have the command check phase. So we have Napoleon who's here, and his commanders are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these two are in, and obviously these are considerably closer. So the two furthest are in command, and then from there, one, two, three, four, five, and then Salty's got command of his cavalry, Friant. His guard, Victor, all his units are here, and McDonald's here. So all the French are in command. Cavalry charge step. Well, I was looking at doing a charge from this unit here down into this area. Let me show you, move the camera a little bit. Into this area here. However, each of these hexes cost two movement points and the initial hex here costs two movements. So that's six movement points to there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I could threaten this cavalry, but ideally I'd like to have got threatened this infantry. Um, and the rest of this cavalry here can't really get there because of this stream. If the stream hadn't been here, then yes, this was, was on. But I think we need to get close up, if not actually cross this stream this turn and then start threatening here next turn. So at the present, no cavalry charges. Movement phase. Well, I'm actually going to start over there, over here, with a guard. The guard are going to be crossing, there's a bridge here, crossing and threatening this line that he that the coalition tried to get started last turn, but I blew that unit away that was there. So, with that in mind, the furthest unit is here. I want to see how far they can get. Now they've got six movement points. So going one, two, three. It crossed two to cross this bridge here because the river is so swollen. Normally a bridge crossing would be one, but it costs two. So one, two, three, four. Five, I could even change into line here for six. Okay. Or into here for six, yes. Um, the aim, as I say, I want to engage these guys um, because this is you know a, a line that's before this gets fully formed. So let's do that. Right, so this is unit number one. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm coming in in column. So this means this unit gets defensive fired. So as it moves from there to there, sorry, opportunity fired. So from there to there. This battery can fire. So it's got a fire value of five. I'm classes when I move from there to there, I'm classes actually in this hex. So it'd be five, four. So it's a five value of four as I come in. Where's me? What screen did I set the up? With a one, that's a miss. Okay. Now, this is one of the questions I'm not sure about on Opportunity Fire. First of all, 
if they even get shot at is to come in because they're going to engage this unit in melee. Um, and the second thing is if another unit moves up into here, do these guns get to fire again because they've already got a unit within their, well there is no zones of control, but within their range, but I'm going to treat it like they do. As they move into this hex here, so I'm four, so we've got two steps. These two units here, that's 03 and 06. So they will go one, two, three, four, five into there. So I am going to give that gun another shot. So it's again, it moves from there to there. So it's shot strength of four with a two. Now is that a morale check? No, that's a miss. Okay. And they've got one movement point left, so a six unit will form hmm, the same column. Okay, now the way I definitely understand is if a unit moves from here to here, this gun will not be able to fire because there's now both hexes are blocked. But there's obviously this battery here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these guys are going to get in, so they might as well join. So one, two, three, four, five, and form a line. And then you know four. Okay. Um so unit twenty eight. So if he moves from there to there, they'll get shot at by these guns. But oh, maybe not that unit first. Maybe this one. So they form column for one. Now they had they had those two as front, so they must have one as front. First facing change is three, so still one, two, crossing the stream three, four. And they have a dog with them. So as they move from there to there, they get shot at. Again, fire straight to four. Okay. For a change, the Austrians are missing. Right. Now. This unit, if it moves into there, it can't be fired at because of for opportunity fire. If it moves from there to there, it can do. Well, I want to leave that battery for the time being. Let's leave that one for the time being. Okay. So McDonald's not unit mint. Want to change formation two, three, four. So they will accumulate fatigue. Okay. Don't need to take a note of that. So if you do the fatigue slightly wrong, you accumulate fatigue only in the end of the turn. Um, so their fatigue will be staying at five at the present moment. But I need to take units note of which units 
of mood, so McDonald's had definitely going to be junior fatigue for movement. And the same with the guard. Right. So the guard has spent six movement points. Okay. So this battery. That's two. battery two three four actually I think I might have done that wrong because that bridge is swollen so it's classed as a normal stream um, bridge Kinsey River This one will go into there, and then I'll move out. In there. Right. Unit O2. We'll move to here. Getting ready to cross. Um, Friant, who's in charge of the guard, has guards here and guard here. One, two, three, four. Three there. Okay, so I'll take his fatigue, and let's say his fatigue will be going up at the correct point. Now, Napoleon is going to take direct command of this cavalry over here. Which I think it's all light cavalry. Yes. So they're going to go. They're facing that way. So first chain facing chain three. So that's nothing. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that, I think, will conclude the movement on this side over here. Okay, so now to do some more movement here. All right, so we've got some gun battery here. I want to get across this bridge, so it's got to go into two to limber. One into here. Now I could, again, unlimber him here. Which I think, yeah, why not? Four or five. Okay, this is a horse battery. So that will go one, two, three. I think it's two for the broken ground, difficult terrain. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is also a horse battery. So, and it was like that, so. Yeah, so that's two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All 
Right, so this is an infantry unit. He's going to deploy some Volgeurs, Voltageurs. And as he's going to move into here with the Voltageurs in front of him. So then he's at that point there. So he's at one. As he moves into here, that clears this. These two Voltageurs have a little fight or whatever they do, they just clear each other. So that's two. Now, if I move from here to here, the gun gets to fire. If I stay there, he's fine. So he'll stay there and then deploy into line. So going back on that gun that's effectively moved one hex is a bit pointless. No, it's not, because he can fire this way in case any Austrians decide to, or coalition decide to come in a bit, bit nasty there. Right. So moving from here to here should be fine. So this infantry unit, one, two, three, four, five, six. And he'll deploy a skirmisher. This gun battery, two, three, four, Two, three, four. Okay, so now to protect these guns. And so, that was a five down salty with the guard cavalry. the stream six seven six seven that's a good cavalry unit right, this is line cavalry let's get the two light cavalry parts of it right so you've got a bit better angle. So two, four, five, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the best you've got here? Right, that's a guard cavalry unit, so let's put that back there for 
the moment. So this is Lion, uh, Lion Cavalry. Okay, just checking the strengths. The one out of the stack. So they go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight for the stream. Now, the, this cover unit has got unit twenty six that has got two steps, and these two that's got one, and that's got three, three, four, five, six. Right, so this guard cavalry, eleven, one, nine, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it goes there. Right, and Sebastiani. So this should give me cover here. All right. Um, Because light cavalry, light cavalry, and light cavalry got a charge range of two. So if he was anywhere in here, I can count a charge. Okay. Now, Nansalti, I think I'm not going to move him. See if he can recover any steps on those two cavalry units there. This cavalry unit here will join these. Now this is a heavy cavalry unit, so it's got only a charge range of one, so again, if he moves adjacent, they can charge. Or should I leave him here, just in case he... Coming through here as a charge, he won't do too many movement points, so... Okay, now this unit over here, it's got... Unit 14, got two steps, um, I'm going to turn around, there's going to be some reinforcements coming on there, and I want to threaten them with a charge. So, a couple units not moved, Drew with his artillery, well actually, well, uh, he wants to keep his artillery in command range. There's one battery there, one battery there. Two, three, four, five, six. So we place him there. One, two, three, four, five. And you see artillery there. That's guard cavalry. That's Nan Selty. And that's Sebastian's artillery. Okay. Let's draw. Well, Victor's staying with this unit to hopefully recover some steps, or a step. The Emperor. I say he's taking personal command of these three cavalry here. But he doesn't need to be with them. But I need to keep everyone in command, so I think he will just move to here at the present moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep them. Maybe to there, keep Sebastian in command. Right, I think that concludes my movement phase. Defensive fire phase. Right. Okay, so we've got an artillery battery here. Um, so let's fire. So it's Four, five value of three. No effect. Moving along the line. This one's got my artillery battery there, so it's four, three. The five. Yeah, 
that's one step on unit 16 for the French. Okay, so it takes a half step loss, pass through, fight on by artillery. Okay, so now down to here, and I'm going to swing the camera over. Okay, so this battery on here. So it's now five. Five with a five. I think that would hit. It is on unit number 28. Okay, so that's hit the blue for my for my last video. Um, so that drops their morale. So the printed morale is eight. Dropped because they've because the casualties is seven. But Donald though brings them up to to nine. Ooh, they don't like it. All right, so the first unit fails. And goes back two, which we'll do in a moment. The next unit, their morale is, print morale is eight. They drop two because of the disordered unit in their hex, goes to six. Their morale is also in the blue, so that's five. But McDonald adds two, six, seven. Nope, they both go back. Disaster. Okay. Can't cross this stream, so they go into here with the artillery. So now they take a morale check, and their morale's 11. Oh, some high rolls for the French. He just passes. Okay, so they go one hex further, which is there as a bridge. So, a little bit of confusion. Right, so we're in turn 7. So I guess... Seven marker on those guys. Um, oh, that didn't work. <sighs> okay, hmm. Actually, there was an extra point for morale because they were fatigued. Good shot, reserve battery artillery. Right, where's those scissors? I'll cut the counter. Right, this one has got two targets. Let me fire at one of them. O three or O four. O four is closest to being eliminated, so I'll fire at that one. So it's five. Oops. With a two. It's a morale check. Well, this is the Imperial Guard. The morale is 11. If I'd rolled double six there, I'd probably kick the table. <laughs> but there we go. All right, so that's... That's everybody. Yeah, that is everybody. Offensive fire. Well, as we have the camera over here, let's start over here. So... Um, right, fire for value of 4 plus 4 is 8 into them. Eight with a 3. Just the 1. Okay, so it goes on the guns. Now the guns, if they're targeted by infantry fire, which in, case they, in this case they are, that's a, a full loss. And that's on unit 42. Okay. Their morale. Printed morale of 8. Goes down to 7. Because of the armor demoralization. Um, 7. And um, why am I rolling 2 dice? Just, that's incorrect. Okay, they buckle. And who can blame them? 
All right, so they're disordered. So now the infantry, then pretty morale is eight, drops two because of disorder in the hex, goes to six, and then minus one for the demoralization, so it's a five for the overall demoralization. So it's a five now. They, they take it. All right, now with guns, we put a disorganized guns counter on top. Okay. Um, if I get to enter the hex within this turn, that will actually eliminate the guns. Otherwise, they can disorder like everybody else. Okay. Right, so then this battery onto this. So it's six. So it's five. Four. Well, the five with the four, that's one step loss. So again, with artillery, I'm doing 39. So it's a half step. Okay. Right, so this now, so move the camera slightly. So we're looking over here. Right, so this battery's got no targets. Okay, but this battery has, yeah, so let's, so it'll be six, five, four, this is the skirmisher, and this one will be five, four, three. So four plus three, seven into that, that unit there. Seven with a four. That is two steps on unit 37. That takes him to the grey. So their printer morale is nine. Take to the grey is eight. Overall army demoralization, seven. And he's part of the reserve. There's Fresnel here is fatigued. So that takes it to six. Yep, they buckle. One, two, straight back. So you're going to go up to the seven. Okay. Right, so that's the artillery finished. Okay, so that is the offensive fire finished. Okay, the melee step. All right, I think there's only gonna be one melee, which is gonna be over here. All right. So the Imperial Guard against this hex. So, um, the guns don't count anything because they're disorganized. Um, I'll double check that actually, I'm not too sure. On the, the, okay, I don't think the crew are there, so. Um, they've got one infantry unit there, which is at full strength. So, looking at its melee value, on here, all right. So you've got the fire value, melee value, Multiply that by that, because that's how many steps they've got, so they're at full strength. So it's two by six, gives them a melee strength of 12. Right, just checked about the artillery. Yeah, they, they, they do not count for anything at the present moment in time. So they're defending with 12 in that hex. So from this hex here, two Imperial Guard units, one in line, one in column. So the one in line uses its, again, looking here for the Imperial Guard. So its melee strength is four. And there's only two steps in the unit, so it's four times by two, which would be eight from that unit. However, the unit in column, all right, uses 
four. This is a full strength unit, so it's five. But if you're in column, you use the actual plus one on that, so it's actually five. Five by five, 25 from that unit. Now from the other hex, unit three has got three steps. So it's uh, four by three, so it's 12. And the one in column, that's unit number six. There's actually only one step remaining in that. So its value is three, which then becomes four, four by one, which is four. Okay. Right. So adding all that together, eight plus four is 12. Another seven is 19. That's 49. That is 1.041. And then there's Fryant himself who is adding two to the combat value to the die roll, which is four shirts. So that is a three on the melee total of four to one. Zero D. Thank you goodness for that. Right, zero means I, the French take their losses, and D, these guys are disorganised. All right. Well, the guns are gone. So that is battery number forty-two. Forty-two. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely entering that hex. All right, so this unit disorganizes um, one, two to there. And I have a body more seven counters. Yeah, if I do have one complaint about this module, is there's not enough number markers. Um, I know they're trying to keep you down to one counter sheet, but I think they could have put in, and it probably cost an extra dollar or two, and a half sheet of number counters. Because I think we have to, do, to dip into another one of the titles, which is not right. Okay, so they will definitely advance into there. Okay, so apart from the little McDonald. Disaster because that would have taken that would have been nice to taken that gun out at the same time um, But it gets me where I want to be which is the guard coming here because I want to destroy if possible These boys over here Hence why I brought some extra cavalry um, one step I did sort of miss um, if a unit doesn't move And it's stacked with a leader it can recover some steps and I had it with here Victor and then salty. So I'm going to do those now. That now. Um, so then when I was ten, Victor makes it eleven. Hopefully they will cover a step. They do, and that is unit number five. Which is one of the uh, fusiliers. The guard by the looks of it. So, they had two step losses, they've now gone down to one step loss. Okay, and then the Anselti is stacked with two cavalry units. Okay, and his morale bonus is three, so anything but 12s to recover on these guys. Um, first unit, yeah. Now, I'm not sure, second unit, if I can actually do two units. It's a little bit vague in the wording on the rule. Um, recovering steps. Troop reintegration, a unit in good order, out of fire range of an enemy unit. So they're both out of fire range of an enemy unit, yeah. Still trick there. With a leader on it that did not move during a movement phase, which they, yeah. That already took losses, yet can try to recover one loss during a rally phase. You must pass a morale check, adding the leader bonus to recover one step. If more 
steps have to be recovered, it can follow the same procedure the following turns. A unit totally eliminated can never recover losses. So it says a unit in good order with a leader. Now there's two units with this leader. So is it a unit as in singular or as in a unit can recover? I'm hopefully someone will make a comment about it. Usually I only have one unit stacked with it with a leader, but this time I had two. Um, so the way I read it, they both can recover. So it's units 12 and 13, one step each. Unfortunately, I'm not giving the coalition much chance to do the same sort of thing. Um, it's pretty difficult to recover if you're constantly being thrown back. Which, oops, I just stepped on an artillery unit there, which I shouldn't have done. About a half step. Okay, so next up will be the rally phase. Um, the French actually have nothing to rally because these guys can only rally in two turns time. So they have no rally, so now the fatigue. Right, so as I said, I was taking take note of this. So we know the guard have now accumulated a fatigue point for moving and a fatigue point for meleeing. So they're back up to six. So their morale is lower by one. McDonald's accumulated fatigue, so they're up to six. They didn't get a chance to melee. Blown away by the artillery. Victor's boys did move for movement, so they go from two to three fatigue. Then the Southeast Cavalry, they, the Guard Cavalry, did move for movement, so they go up to six, but no melee. And Sebastiani's Cavalry moved. Poor. And they go to five. Hmm. This cavalry over here that I moved, which I was going to give direct command to Napoleon, um, I'm going to start recording their fatigue under Napoleon um, and taking the. They were on four. They moved, so that's going to be five as well. So this French army is getting a little tired. But they don't have time to stop, so I'm keeping the, the Napoleon with the fatigue marker. Well, those three cavalry, which he's now got direct command of. Okay. So I think that ends the French turn. Um, yet, yeah, then all the... Do I want to put any... Ah, voltageurs. Do I want to put any out? I keep forgetting this one. Yes. So they put a voltage... Now, there's a line come. So they put one out there. Um, why not? Now, that, that is a light company, a uh, unit, so you can actually put out two. Okay. Right, with these voltageurs, um, with the French army, every line battalion can put out one voltageur, and every Leger light battalion, I'll keep saying battalion, unit counters, the regiments in this, so you can put out two. If it's a line formation, you can only go directly in their front two hexes if they're in, in line, or one of the direct front hex if they're in column. However, if it's a light regiment that's putting them out, they can put out two um, voltage units, and they do not have to be in the, the matching front. So hence, I'm going to show the cameras on here, this unit here is over three chasseurs of the guard, uh, it's a grenadier, but it's got a printed range of two, so he can put out two voltageurs, and the same with the unit over here. So that gives me some light companies over there. 
This one over here, I can't put one across. I, I can put out light camera, but I'm not going to. I can't put it across as a rear because it takes a whole movement point to cross this actual movement point, whole movement turn to cross this river here. Um, so this unit can move from here to here next gain turn, but that'll be it. That's all it can move. So, um, so yes, French army getting a little bit tired, tired, um, but they have to keep pushing. And uh, so we've got a good, good concentration of the guard across here now. Uh, four regiments, another one trying to cross here, another one getting patched up over here. So, um, Bryant is way over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. He'll be actually out of command. But that just means he'll march towards Bryant. So that should be all right. So, yes, that's me mumbling and jumbling. The plan's coming together. Um be interested to see what my colleague will do about this situation here now. Um, he's getting a few units back. Um, so yeah, it should be interesting. Should we have, I'm lacking, I've only got two units of infantry over here, but I'm starting to reform the Grand Battery um, to keep them going. But the main emphasis for me as the French is over on this this side of the screen, over over the top there, over this area. Um, there's quite a lot of disordered and routed units. If I can get these all off the board, um, trying to follow Napoleon's maxim, you beat the enemy, not the terrain, not not towns. You beat their army. Um, so yeah, he hasn't got many fresh units here, and with these guys trying to pull back, they'll be taking shots from the voltageurs, keeping the pressure, keeping the pressure on. Well, that's the end of the French turn. Um, hit the subscribe and like buttons if you enjoyed what you, you're seeing, if you haven't done so already. Um, any comments, especially rules questions, I raised a few little questions in there, I'm a little bit on opportunity fire. Um, but so if you see anything and you think oh no that's not how you should play it just put a comment I'm still learning this system um, nothing really further to add so all the best bye